it's Brittany Bear Makeup here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do a Q&A. All of you guys went ahead and asked me super amazing questions in my last video. I went ahead and gathered a few of my favorite questions and in today's video, I'm going to be answering those for you guys. So make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you can be a part of my bear family. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And keep on watching as I answer all of your guys' questions. You are now, now rocking with all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and answer some of your guys's questions i don't want to keep you here all day long so the first question that i have what are your favorite beauty hacks so i've actually been wanting to do a video on beauty hacks for quite some time now i feel like one of my favorite beauty hacks that i love to do at home is to make a homemade bb cream so how i do that is i put a little bit of my full coverage foundation about one pump i mix it with my favorite spf face lotion and then i put a little bit of highlighter in it and I just apply it to my face and let me just say guys it is the most beautiful radiant coverage ever it literally makes it look like your natural bare skin you're still getting SPF which is amazing and you're also getting that very iridescent glow so if you guys want to see a video on that make sure you guys comment below and let me know that you want to see that hack and I will definitely make that video for you guys all right guys so the next question is how did you get so good at makeup did you attend any makeup school or did you practice a lot. I think there were two things that really allowed me to actually blossom when it came to makeup. And I think the first was I did take a couple courses in makeup. And I think that that really helped educate me on what I needed to know as a freelance makeup artist and what I needed to know in general just about makeup. Another thing was I practiced so so much guys I remember I would do my makeup at least six times a day I think that is so important trial and error understanding that you're always growing you're always gonna get better but practicing in my eyes was one of the biggest reasons why I am where I am today guys all right guys so the next question is do you have any advice to give someone like me full of passion but having a hard time picking up a following basically tips on how to become a Instagram slash YouTube sensation I think it is so important to understand that it all comes down to how bad you want something. I think my motto for everything that I do in life is that if you work hard enough, it is bound to be a success. So when you wanna start a YouTube channel, when you wanna start an Instagram, you have to be consistent. You have to make sure that everything you do reflects you, you stay true to who you are, and you stay consistent. So the next question is, do you speak any other languages? Although guys, I do understand Spanish, I'm still very new to actually speaking it. I feel like I've always struggled with just conjugating certain things and making one thing feminine and one thing masculine. It like genuinely scares me to mess up. I'm still learning. It's a learning process, but it's definitely a language that hopefully throughout the years I'll pick up and be able to speak both English and Spanish. So the next question is, I saw that you worked at a mall where a Morphe store just recently opened. Was it Sephora or Mac store? And where did you work at before? My first job I ever had was was actually at Guest by Marciano, which was at the Brea Mall, if you guys are familiar with it. But every single day I was there, I was just hoping and hoping that I would get a job in makeup. Then I finally went and applied to Bare Minerals, which is where I worked prior to leaving and freelancing. And yeah, those were the two jobs that I had growing up. All right guys, so the next question is, how do you motivate yourself? I think it's super important to set goals for yourself and make sure that you meet them. Every beginning of the year, I like to set aside a couple of things that I really, really want to accomplish. And throughout the year, I make sure that I do everything in my power to accomplish them. So I think it's really important to set a plan, to execute your plan, and really just work as hard as you can, guys. All right guys, so the next question is, where do you see yourself in 10 years in your career and your personal life? So 10 years is a long time, so I definitely see that I'm gonna have a lot of wrinkles, just kidding. But in all honesty, guys, in 10 years career-wise, I would love to have my own cosmetic company, my own cosmetic line, something in the maybe contouring type of aspect. In my personal life, I would definitely have to say, hopefully I'll be married by then, you never know. I would say maybe have a family and be living my life and enjoy 
enjoying my life. All right, so the next question is, if you could pick one makeup brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh, so this is a really, really hard question because I think I have specific things that I love from so many different companies. I love Tarte Shape Tape. I love Benefit uh, powders as well as their brow products. You know, I love some companies for their highlighters and setting sprays. So I feel like this is so hard to answer, but I think I do have an answer only because this year I am so diehard this product that I cannot see myself living without it. So if I had to choose one company, it would have to be Joey Cosmetics. And if you guys have been following me for quite some time now, you know that their foundation is literally my holy grail of foundations. And I know some other stuff they're working on, so I can only imagine they're about to blow our minds. Their lipsticks, their lip liners, I feel like everything Joey comes out with is just like amazing. So the next question is, was it difficult getting family or friends to believe you can make it in your career on YouTube or Instagram? So to answer that question, yes. It was definitely hard. My parents always wanted to see me go to school, finish college, get an education, and I think that is so amazing, and I'm so happy my parents had such high expectations for me. I had to sit my parents down one day, and I asked them if they would give me one year to pursue makeup. I have to admit, guys, my mom was so anti it. She thought it was the worst idea ever, but during that year, I worked my butt off. I remember I was taking any free job I could do. I was just every single day practicing my craft and just showing and proving to my parents that I had this passion. I wanted that path for myself. So I really had to prove to my parents that I wanted this for myself. And no matter what this job brought, whether I had to struggle for a while, I was willing to take the risk because my motto in life is always to just be happy. And anything that you do career-wise, there is nothing more important than genuine loving your job and loving what you do. All right, so the next question is, would you ever go platinum blonde? If you're new to my channel and new to my Instagram, I have tried pretty much every hair color out there. So I've been platinum blonde, I've been like a red brown, burgundy, everything you can pretty much name it. And blonde hair just really, really damaged my hair. I don't think I would go platinum blonde again. I feel like it doesn't fully complement my complexion. However, I love blonde hair and I think from now on, I'm just gonna stick to a wig if I do get that little itch. Definitely not going platinum blonde anytime soon, but definitely wasn't my best color. All right, the next question is, what is your hair care routine? Many people ask me what I do to keep my hair nice and shiny and silky. First off guys, I do want to say that my hair naturally is up to here. So I do get the tapins from Bellamy Hair. My girl Kat does my hair and she does a phenomenal job. Tapin extensions go on so easy and they honestly make my hair just look so natural and so silky and smooth, I love it. Another thing that I do is I do use sulfate-free shampoos to just help my hair look nice, shiny, and full. Another thing that I do is I use Aragon oil after I get out of the shower to really just give me that nice, silky finish. And then I'll straighten my hair after and bam, this is what you get. Kinda looks like I'm wearing a wig, but it's my hair with a little bit of extra weave to it. So that is my hair care routine. All right guys, so that concludes today's video, my Q&A. Hopefully I answered a couple of your guys' questions and if I didn't, don't feel discouraged. Just write me in the comments below and I'll make sure to respond to you guys. I wanna make sure that all of your comments are answered. Thank you guys for all the love and support you continue to show me daily on my videos. You guys are so amazing and I just honestly cannot thank you guys enough. Make sure you guys turn on my notifications if you guys like today's video and you want to see more of me pop up on your newsfeed don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see all of you guys in my next video bye guys